hi guys welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to install visual studio and the codeon ai tool that would enable you to you know test your code while working you know as a developer and all of that so let's dive into action so first thing i you can see on my browser here i type studio.com.download studio code.studio visual studio.com.download so i'm going to click on the first um link okay so right here you can see download video studio code so we're going to click on depending on the kind of um, system you're using so me i'm using windows if you're using mac you can hit on mac when i'm using windows i'm going to hit on windows okay so right here you can see it says thanks for downloading visual studio for windows so you can click on this icon here so already i have it downloaded so i don't need it anymore so i'm going to you know cancel it right so now let's go to my download i have my download all right so you can see over here i have it already downloaded on my system so i'm going to double click on it You can click on I accept the agreement. Click on next and install. So let's finish. So next thing we're going to do now, since we've installed the Visual Studio on our computer, so uh, file extension. Let's go to View and go to you know uh, extensions. Okay, so in this place, you just have to type you know um, um, the Codeon. Type Codeon. Codeon AI. Okay, so here you can see it. I have it here already installed. So you just hit it and. It will now open for you for you to install if you've not installed it before just a very simple step but next thing you have to do you must have a you know um a github page that would enable you to sign up with it okay so now you may ask what's this code on ai all about so it's used for analysis analyze your code code on AI, analyze your code and generate meaningful test okay so let's for example we have um so you can see since i'm signing see you can say hey raymond davis okay so you can see automatically you know i'm already signing so that's why you're seeing this so you can look at binet here we have codeon ai so once i hit codeon ai see once you sign in to now show your github name right so these are to show that this thing is working now what's the function all about now, let's see the function now. So you can see generate test for below classes generate test for below classes so if you're a developer you use python the php or what kind of backend code you use you know this can really serve to help you especially backend please not just for front end because you can see the front end pages here it's not reflecting but it's major for you know back end codes like python you know depending on the backend you're using so you can hit this um this test code to you know actually see what it's working for Okay, so I can hit it, generate test for the new classes. So this will analyze the code and tell you exactly what you're actually trying to perform in that particular place. Alright, so let's wait while it loads. So now, some of you guys who are new to, you know, hand this is majorly for you because you can just use it to analyze the code a particular session what the session all about what the session talking about so it will really help you guys to you know analyze that particular section to know what that place is rendering you know okay so you can see now from here the dev test generator token for new you know even us uh, the, the you know information about it so when you're scrolling you keep seeing many information about it 
So you see, you can see it's telling us that that a unique token is generated for a user who has requested to activate the account. Exactly, so you can see it's telling us exactly what this section of code is doing. Okay, you can see this is the information it's telling you, and this is the code section that I just I uh, used, and this is what is telling you the code what the code the code does. Okay, so here you can see the next part. So it's just trying to it's reading all the code section by section. So you can see the dev test generate token for okay. So you can see test that that no token is generated for a user who has already activated their account. So let's scroll down again to the next section. Alright, so it's taking them one after the test that has no token is generated for a user who does not exist. So like that, like that. So test that the generated token is valid for a certain period of time see so you can see that this okay the last one test the integration with the user model and database okay so you can see that this is how we can easily you know use this uh, codeon ai you know for reading uh, you know a section of codes you know especially when we have a project somebody have done and give to us we can use it to analyze what that particular session is all about and you know know how to continue from there thank you if you find this video so interesting please subscribe for more videos like this